Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher, with a math lesson followed by a challenge with a substantial prize available. This lesson is about counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. I'll just call them numbers. And their counting number factors, which means multipliers. I'll just call them factors. First, I have to go over with you prime numbers. A prime number is a number that has only two factors, itself and one. The first one is two, because two is just two times one. Uh, three also, just three times one. Four isn't, because four is two times two. Five is prime, because it's only five times one. Six isn't, because it's two times three. Seven is, because it's seven times one only. 8 isn't because it's 2 times 4, 9 isn't because it's 3 times 3, five, uh, 10 isn't because it's 5 times 2, 11 is because it's 11 times 1 only, and the list goes on endlessly. This is plenty for our purpose in this lesson. So that's prime numbers. Now, factors. Two kinds. Prime factors and all factors. For the first example, I will take the number 45. First to find its prime factors. Well, I can divide it by the prime number 5, which goes 9 times. I can divide 9 by the prime number 3, which goes 3 times. And 3 is prime, so I stop. Therefore, the prime factors of 45 are 3, times 3, times 5. Now comes perhaps the mysterious part, which will be the basis for your challenge in a few minutes. I look at these prime factors, and I immediately deduce from them that 45 has 6 factors in all. And I will now list them in pairs, starting with 1 and working my way up. I have 1 times 45. 2 does not go into 45 evenly, but 3 does. I have 3 times 15. 4 does not go into 45, but 5 does. 5 times 9 is 45. 6 does not go into 45, nor does 7, nor 8, but 9 does, but I already have 9. So here they are, the six factors of 45. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them, just as I predicted. I will take another example. 66. First, it's prime factors. I can divide it by the prime number 2. It goes 33 times. I can divide 33 by the prime number 3. It goes 11 times. 11 is a prime number, so I stop there. So the prime factors of 66 are 11 times 3 times 2. I look at those and I deduce from them that 66 has 8 factors in all. I will now list them starting with 1. In, I will list them again in pairs. 1 times 66. 2 times 33, 3 times 22, 4 does not go into 66, 5 doesn't either, but 6 does, 6 times 11, 7 does not go into 66, nor 8, nor 9, nor 10, 11 does, but I already have it, so here they are. The eight factors of 66, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, eight factors just as I predicted. One more example, a larger number, 300. First, it's prime factors. I can divide 300 by the prime number 3, which gives 100. I can divide 100 by the prime number 5, which gives 20. 
I can divide 20 by 5, which gives 4. And I can divide 4 by 2, which gives 2. And 2 is a prime number. So I stop. I could have done this in a different order, but I would have gotten the same uh, group of numbers. So the prime factors of 300 are 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 3. I deduce from that that 300 has 18 factors in all. And I will now list them, again, starting with 1 and working my way up. I will again list them in pairs. 1 times 300, 2 times 150, 3 times 100, 4 times 75, 5 times 60, 6 times 50, I need more room, 7 does not go into 300, nor does 8, nor 9, but 10 does, 10 times 30, 11 doesn't, but 12 does, 12 times 25, 13 doesn't, 14 doesn't, but 15 does, 15 times 20, 16 doesn't, nor 17, nor 18, nor 19, but 20 does, and I already have 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 factors, just as I predicted. So here's your challenge. What is the method for looking at the prime factors of a number and deducing correctly from that the number of factors in all? And why does that method work? If you can, and also work out two more examples at least we're showing all the details as I have done with these three examples. If you can do all that, don't post your results at the comments section, please. Go to my profile page and click on send message and message me your results. If I like your results and agree with them fully, then you will be eligible, if you want it, for a substantial prize, a prize more substantial than the prizes I offer in my other math videos so far. I play the piano, as is evident from my music videos. For your prize, if you want it, I will burn a CD of some of a variety of selections from my piano archives, and I will mail it to you if you will furnish me your name and mailing address. If you need help deciding whether you want a prize, you can click on the link below this video and watch one or more of my piano videos. In any event, I hope that this video has given you pleasure and that if you work on the challenge, that will give you pleasure also. Thank you for watching this video.